Hi guys and girls on YouTube, really quick video here to show you. Um, now a very good friend of mine, Alan Clark's, give me this um, radio um, transmitter receiver to repair. Now I don't usually do radio transmitters, in fact I've not done any radio transmitters since 1981, my CB days. Uh, but this is a, a, a Trio TR7800 and he said the complaint with it was, uh, it's all working fine and when you transmit they asked me to um, the uh, bar graph for the S meter goes across but when you're receiving there's no uh, indication on the signal meter it's completely dead uh, none of the segments are lit now I've had a quick look on the diet on the internet and I managed to pull up a circuit diagram right well I'm no expert in this sort of stuff uh, but the signal strength meter um, the incoming signal strength seems to operate by rectifying the signal here through these diodes uh, then it goes to a smoothing capacitor and then it's passed on to the um, signal strength uh, bar graph display uh, now I've taken these two diodes out and actually I find that diode 1 is open circuit and diode 2 is ok uh, now I've also changed this capacitor here not that there's anything wrong with it but I'll just stop the camera and I'll show you Right, so that's the capacitor I've taken out and changed. Um, I've actually measured it, and it measures all right. It's 10 nanofarad. Um, but if you look on the corner of the case, there, there's a little chip. Um, so I've actually just changed it for good measure anyway. That's the faulty diode in question. Um, now, I do have the part number of this diode, but I can't find one. So what I've done is I've looked up on the circuit board, um, another diode that's just like it. It's got the same um, number on the side, and I've taken that out and measured it. Uh, it's a silicon diode, but it has a, a usually unusual um, high forward resistance of about 50 ohms. So here we've got um, a, a replacement diode connected to the meter. Uh, now, if you look at that, it's just over 50 ohm, the forward resistance. Now, um, on my meter, most diodes measure between um, 10 and 20 ohms on the analog meter. Um, so this seems to be a bit unusual, having um, like a high forward resistance. But I've checked it with another diode, and, it, and it's right. Um, so what I've done is I've looked up some vintage diodes that might be uh, similar, um, and I found that an OA90... Uh, which I've got under test there has the um, same forward resistance so I fitted an OA90 I fitted a new capacitor and um, it's working absolutely fine um, when it comes into focus that's the new diode and that's the new capacitor there so um, I know my friend Alan Clark is a subscriber to my channel so uh, if you're watching this Al um, your receiver's ready all right guys thanks for watching goodbye